Um, so let's get started with the second half. Um, so we have AJ from Radius, who's the co-founder, and he'll be speaking on the path to better rollups with shared sequencing. Hi, this is yeah, this is AJ, uh, founder of uh, Radius. Uh, thank you for coming to this, this event. Um, um, I'm really pleased to pr present our idea to you. So um, Radius is building a sequencing layer for rollups. So, so basically, um, here is a, a lot of projects working on scaling solutions, and then I really admire the hard work they've been doing. And then so layer three, layer two, or layer one, um, optimistic rollup, ZK rollup, I think they all make sense. So probably um community will choose which one is the best, but I think uh, they doing really great job. So um, as for uh, Radius is believing, um, believing this um, modular thesis and Rollup Century Ethereum um, are taking those things really serious. So today talks about uh, the rollups. So we think that a rollup is not just technical concepts or scaling solution, but it's also a for-profit business that provides services to users. Which means that if um, if Dapps wants to build something on on something on chain. Um, they can use smart contracts, but uh, when when these dev developers hmm, implement smart contracts, they only need to focus on business logics. While in rollups, there are they need to consider other design design choices like economics, because um, uh, so um, so. There is some couple of challenges that uh, rollups faces. So first of all, um, the existing rollups have uh, right now have um, centralized sequences at this time. So the problem with these centralized sequences is that the ordering is really a uh, great power that these centralized sequences can do anything they want, like uh, they can steal your funds or steal your transitions if they find it really uh, profitable for them. And they're also like censoring and to, uh, in order to maximize the, and maybe profits for them. So, but it will help them to um, maintain their economical sustainability. But on the user side, it might drive users away from the rollups because especially for um, harmful MEV such as front running and sandwich attack. Uh, they th these concepts actually take your money out of your pocket. So, um, so that's why it, it matters to rollups. And then another one is that centralized means that single point of failure risk. So uh, we need. So so that's why uh, recently um, many projects are talking about decentralized sequences or like even like in distributed uh, sequencer sets. Another one is that um, another challenge is that Rollup has is FCFS, um, first come first serve policy to, uh, with uh, for ordering transactions. The reason why they apply this is that they don't want to be criticized because this centralization issue. So they said they uh, do FCFS when ordering transitions, but the problem is that they don't make money from that. Um, especially, uh, there's no priority gas fee for transition fee, which is the one of the great area that um, this protocol can make profit. And the another one is that even though they said that they are doing ordering based on FCFS, we need to trust them. There's no way to verify. There's no, there is no way to prove that they actually doing this FCFS. So that's why we put FCFS is kind of a challenges that these existing rollups has right now. So, um, so 
uh, rollups need to retain their users while um, maintaining the economical their economical sustainability. So the challenge is lies in the maintaining user centric, which means that we need to protect uh, users from this harmful MEV, which might be happening on um, with centralized sequences. And also, volume needs a profit to run their businesses. So there should be some way to make some uh, profit to uh, to support this economical sustainability. So that's that's why we started the Radius. Um, to address risk of centralized sequences and also um, solve this lim limitation of FCFS. So to incentivize this role of adoption and prof prof profitability, we, um, we protect users from this harmful MAV, but also want to maximize these profits for rollups. So uh, Redis is a um, shared sequencing layer for rollups. So I'd like to describe what this shared sequencing is that. Uh, shared sequencing is the external sequencing as a service to build a block for rollups. So, uh, so rollups don't need to be worried about this sequencing because the sequencing layer will provide these um, blocks for them. And then we actually separate sequencing and executions. Um, validators or sequencers for these uh, current rollups have two roles. One is that sequencing. Second one is the execution. So uh, Radius will be responsible only for sequencing. And then rollups is just going to execute the transactions that are in the sequenced order that the sequencing layer provides. Um, the reason why we did this is that we want to be, uh, we want to make this sequencing layer stateless and lightweight, so we can support many rollups, uh, as many rollups as possible. So we can scale, can help rollups can scale further. So um, the sequencing layer actually doesn't execute transitions. So this is the the architecture that uh, we our Radius current has. So uh, the order flow is, is like that. Our uh, users submit transactions to sequencers, and the sequencer aggregate those transactions for each rollup, and then the sequencer will provide these blocks to each rollups. And then also they are going to post these uh, blocks to DA layer. So after rollup execute those transactions, sequencer sequencing layer makes sure that these rollup actually execute the transactions that in the, in the sequence order that uh, sequence layer provides. So, and then uh, how how radius can do that? We actually uh, there are two pillars for radius design. One is a trustless. We want to make uh, this shared sequences um, trustless and also distributed. One trustless that we actually using um, encrypted mempool to hide the contents of transactions from the sequences, so uh, the sequencer can't see the contents, so they cannot manipulate the order of transitions to maximize the harmful MEV. So that's how we can protect users. And also, uh, we apply the ZK. Uh, ZK. So um, even though the transitions are encrypted, we can, uh, users can prove the integrity of those transitions. So that's the another one, another core achievement that um, Radius has during the Ethereum uh, Foundation grants. And then also, um, when a sequencer layer has uh, uh, got uh, transactions from users, they need to respond to users with a uh, uh, order commitment. It's kind of a pre-confirmation that um, saying, your transaction will be included in a specified index in the next block. So after rollups execute those transactions and post proof on um, the layer, user can find out that this commitment is broken or kept. If it's broken, they can claim. And so that's how we uh, force this sequence layer or rollups can, um, as they promised. Another one is that uh, distribute did it um, sequence layer that uh, if there's only one sequencer, it's probably a uh, liveness is really bad. So 
um, S4 liveness of the sequence layer, we will have a uh, multiple sequences, and then if a sequence, and then the sequencer will be randomly chosen to build a block per epoch, per epoch, and then if this sequencer goes down, another sequencer will uh, make sure that it can cover. So, so um, and then radius is actually um, um, the sequencer layer want to support this economic incentives for rollups that um, we want to maximize good MAV, not, not harmful MAV, like arbitrage or liquidation or cross rollup uh, MAV stuff. So we can make a profit and then we can uh, distribute this uh, profit for rollups. So um, we can offer a block space profit model like a layer one. And then also we are gonna build an open market place for traders or MEV searchers to join and then to make a profit. And then also this profit will be given to rollups. So, and then um, we, are, we are not using a naive uh, FCFS, but we can also make sure that uh, this PGA thing can happen. And then so transition, transition fee also can be profit for rollups. So um, a little uh, details here. So we have uh, two parts of in a block. One is that a top block space, it contains uh, encrypted bundles transactions. It's pr protected from harmful MEV. So uh, we can pre prevent uh, front running and sandwich attacks. So you just can be uh, not, need, not need, don't need to be worried about this harmful MAV attacks. And the another one is the bottom part of block space that it contains the benign MAV transitions. So we can make a profit from those um, benign MAV stuff. And then um, basically traders search benign MAV opportunity and then submit bundles with the beads. So these beads will be distributed in uh, rollups so they can make a make sure that there's a, a great sustainability in economic way. So another one is that cross rollup automaticity. But um, I'm not saying that we solved this um, interoperability, but I think the shared sequencing layer has a really great chance to support a really great uh, composability because we are gonna uh, support a multiple rollups to build a block. So we can make sure that automaticity can happen during this um, when build a block, so, but it's ongoing discussions. So if you are interested in discuss it with us, so please let me know. Uh, okay, so um, actually we, um, there are three components for our sequencing layer. One is that um, encryption thing, and another one is that sequencing as a service for rollups to get a batch of transitions from sequencing la layer. And another one is that, that our open marketplace for uh, benign MEV. Uh, we actually implemented all of them but it's uh, initial implementation. So right now we are optimizing it for better performance. And then you've got um, NFC card and you can tag it on the phone. You can see our demo. So uh, please check that out. So um, the future of Radius, we are, are doing this, uh, we're gonna take full advantage of rollups as a business. So we can support them to um, maintain their uh, economical sustainability. Also, um, similar CUX and then other things. So um, right now we are discussing it to integrate our sequencing layer with our app specific rollups or rollup as a service projects and even some projects in modular space. So if you all want to discuss it with us, please come to us. We are open to discussion and we truly believe that this modular thesis and uh, and modular thesis and roll ups entry Ethereum is really our future of the project. So um, Radius is drives um, sustainab sustain sustainability and advance to boost up roll ups entry Ethereum. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you.